spoken many a times as regards secrets of success but today while sitting a thought comes i must also share with you one of the most essential part ingredients of the secret of success and that is imagination i agree my friend the secret of success is consistency to purpose true enough persistence does count but there are other secrets too you know the old saying the practice makes a man perfect but it's not necessarily that practice makes a man successful so there are specific ingredients which can be attributed to the secrets of success someone truly said that a minute of success pays the failures of years success is so important and essential my friend the most important ingredient i feel is the imagination the imaginative power is the chief characteristics of the super messi uh, or characteristics of the uh, successful people or for any successful career imagination is key to success i am convinced an imaginative imagination imaginative power is it can be fortunately can be developed i being author written so many books and all my friends they are poets and uh, these days i indulge in uh, uh, listening and uh, uh, reading urdu poetry i really see, really admire the imaginations of the poets and the author especially the fiction writers imagination is really nobody can surpass them they are the best examples when it comes to imagination the secret of success in my friends in governing the imagination you must specialize with ever growing power along defensive lines give your mind wholeheartedly to a certain lines of interest whatever you have remember ideas do not come into us half uh, half hazardly no if we do nothing but sit and wait for them we shall never in all our lives do anything but sit and wait for anything keep your imagination alive at least in my understanding my experience is the best way to develop imagination in few steps i will uh, uh, talk to you the first and foremost i feel is to cultivate the notebook habit i this has been my habit for very long and i have been pretty successful always keep a notebook on your table and a small pocket diary or a notebook in your uh, pocket whenever you see any idea any suggestion which comes to you whether uh, from reading or whether while in conversation with some intelligent or someone or even dreaming what you got to do it simply jot it down those ideas those suggestion those points and once a week go over what you have uh, uh, jotted down give your mind a chance to ramble and explore those points and see if a brand new suggestion or idea comes out of those accumulated or jotted down points and ideas suggestions immediately write down this new suggestions new idea you can build whole lot of a uh, story poem and anything you want uh, on this new idea born out of the ideas which you have jotted down collected over a period of time remember it takes one real good idea or suggestion to multiply any man's effectiveness many fold this is how one trains himself or herself to be on the lookout for new new notions every day when i visit uh, the whatsapp group these days helping people the far too many new ideas uh, comes i catch on i built upon that 
and that's how you get the new uh, notions new combinations new and reliable thoughts my friends a notebook may not suit your personality at all but it is the principle not the detail that I want to present do not just hope for good ideas go out and try to uh, scare, just uh, uh, scare them up the next step I feel is the seek for defensive definite and concrete uh, starting points for any imaginative undertaking my friend you got to be having a start point do not let your mind wander helplessly over the entire universe hoping for something to turn up be like a businessman I feel totally business like attitude start a process of directed and determined search it's my understanding and observation that the man of genius picks up hints from here and there and everywhere they are attentive uh, uh, listeners they are there are points of growth sometimes uh, very slowly sometimes very swiftly ideas and images and thoughts uh, the qualities about them you must set yourself my friend to cost to quack these ideas you must spoke about to honor them to their hidden layers this is where the notebook habits can help you enormously find some solid concrete point from which to start in itself the germinal idea may be trivial it may seem exceed exceedingly uh, remote from the business in hand but my friend it is very necessary then the second step I feel the practice the art of imaginative experimentation Consider every conceivable combination of circumstances for your sales campaign or your uh, the administrative uh, uh, setups. Never mind if some of them seem silly or impossible at first glance. Maybe a wild notion can be tamed and made to do good work if you do not reject it too soon. In the work of imaginative experimentation, knowledge and experience count for most, my friend. Some people have supposed that mental creation means making something out of nothing at all. But knowledge that has been assimilated and is part of you is a vital substance of imaginative construction remember one cannot think well about any subject unless one knows it well we call it in army the major SD everybody is stuck on minor SD house to be written comma full stop grammar but what about the major SD the knowing your subject is the major SD you got to know what you're talking what you're building upon and those are facts and facts are always the best possible prompters of ideas prompters of imagination so if you find yourself stuck for new ideas turn to facts and here is the be your best chance of finding new expedients lines of action new modes of uh, uh, treatment there is a definite relation between the amount of knowledge people possess and their ability to think creatively and originally whenever imaginative constructions has begun my friend pushing through to a conclusion of some kind even though the grand new scheme for your party will never be uh, tried out Develop it in a full and get it into back, uh, get into black and white. Put it down. This plan may be a failure, 
but the definite completion of a piece of work has a most beneficial effect. Half-way projects are bad for your mind, my friend. Complete the damn thing what you start. And then finally I said, don't quit your job when you uh, uh, quit your desk. Carry not the routine, but the wider issues of your job along with you. Treasure and utilize opportunity, opportunities uh, to be alone. There are chances of transform yourself from a routine specialist into a creative specialist. Consider how your job might be altered beneficially. The proper use of periods of free time is one of the great secret of imaginate, uh, imaginative successes I feel my friend. Don't waste time. As a, that is the most uh, precious resource. One of my industrialist friend here in a tenry uh, he is a CEO of a riding house. He keeps telling me words of wisdom. He tells me while uh, that uh, I don't want men of experience working for me. The experienced man is always telling me why something can't be done. He's smart. He's intelligent. He thinks he knows the answers. And the fellows who has not had any experience are so dumb. They don't know a thing can't be done and there he goes applies his mind and does it in a most imaginative way <laughs> he certainly not surpasses the experience but this is how he deals so that to support the imagination the secret of success thank you very much